Ito yung not smiling without your eyes. And this is smiling with your eyes. Can you see the difference? If meron ka na nakikita ng split ends, it's time to... Yarn. <laughs> we don't want any split ends. Katulad ng skin natin na kailangan ng moisturizing, our lips also need moisturizer para mas kissable. In this video, I want to share you 33 beauty tips that I've ko throughout the years. So let's get started. Number one, start with the right mindset. Nakakapangit yung negativity, so be happy. In the next 30 days, I challenge mo sarili mo na wag mo complain. Naniniwala ako na true beauty starts from within. Number two, always remove your makeup before going to bed. You don't want na yung makeup mo for the whole day is still on your face overnight. You don't want all the dirt and dust is still on your face overnight. It can lead to rashes, poofiness, acne, or itchy skin. So it can be damaging to your skin. Nagirin yung kasi yung skin natin overnight. And if you still have your makeup on overnight, you're preventing that from happening. Plus, you need to let your skin breathe. So ako, no matter how tired I am or uh, tinatamad ako magtanggal ng makeup, I always, always remove my makeup before going to bed. Number three, never skip moisturizing. Moisturizing reduces a lot of skin problems such as oiliness or dryness. Mas magiging soft and supple yung skin natin when we moisturize daily and it often leads up to younger looking skin. Don't forget to also moisturize your decolletage. So yung decolletage natin is yung nasa lower neck and yung sa upper chest natin. So yung part kasi na to is yung mas prone to first signs of aging. So um, we don't want that. So it's really important to keep it moisturized and nourished. Number five, always have plenty of sleep. And since when I didn't get enough sleep, I feel lethargic. It shows sometimes. Kakaroon ko ng eye bags and pimples. And I also can function very well when I'm sleep deprived. Well, I guess it depends sa tao kung ilan ba dapat yung number of hours of sleeping. For me, it's always 6 to 8 hours. Anything less than that, I'm sleep deprived. Number 6 is keep hydrated. I know medyo boring tong advice na to and it's not groundbreaking anymore. Actually, marami sa mga beauty tips ko na ibabanggitin ko sa video na to is not groundbreaking anymore and probably alam niyo na tong mga to. But sometimes kasi it's so simple na we forget to do it. So going back to the keep hydrated advice, I find myself na kapag marami akong pimples, I just needed to drink lots of water. And sineryoso ko talaga tong advice na to. Um, one time, nag-stop akong uminom ng mga soda or artificial juice for one year. And pansin ko, it's really good for my skin. So for me, ang benefit nun is when I stay hydrated, um, it prevents premature aging, mas clear yung skin ko, um, it maintains your pH balance, so many benefits. Number seven is move and sweat a lot. So magpapawis kayo. It improves your blood circulation. Mas magmumukhang glowing yung skin mo. Pansin ko, when I do this more, mas clear din yung skin ko. Number eight, eat fruits and lots of veggies. Another not so groundbreaking advice. Pero nakita ko kasi yung difference when I eat more fruits and veggies. I feel more energetic when I eat fruits and veggies. Whenever I feel energetic, iba yung aura mo eh. Like I said earlier, true beauty starts from within. Whatever you put in your body, whatever you consume, it will somehow show in your physical appearance. Number nine, master your smile. Not only that it will make you look more youthful when you're smiling. Smiling makes you look more approachable then. People will perceive you as someone who is pleasant to be around. So why did I say master your smile? I remember kasi when I was attending castings for TV commercials, because I did some TV commercials before, we have to smile a lot. And I remember I have to practice a lot of smiling in front of the mirror kasi new smile ko nun is crooked yung smile ko nun. So I have to fix that. Kasi there are different types of smile. There merong smiles, yung smiling with your eyes. Ito yung not smiling without your eyes. And this is smiling with your eyes. Can you see the difference? 
So, smiling helps lift up your mood, so practice smiling. Number 10, let your skin breathe. Now, this advice is great for people na required mag makeup for their profession every single day. So, if you're one of those during off duty mo, wag ka mag makeup the whole day kasi you have to let your skin breathe. Kasi kapag less clogged yung skin natin, we'll get less irritation sa skin natin. Number 11, use VCO or Mayo for your hair, especially kung damage. If madalas ka mag-style ng hair mo, if madalas ka magparibond or magpakulay, use VCO or Mayo. I suggest VCO sa mga hindi masyadong damage yung hair. Pero if talagang damage na damage na yung hair mo, I suggest to use mayonnaise. Yes, mayonnaise. It, yes, it will smell like your favorite tuna sandwich. Pero once you rinse it off and chinampo mo siyang mabuti, it will look shinier, softer, and healthier. Kailangan mo lang shampoohin na mabuti para mawala yung amoy. Number 12. So, this is what I do. Um, papa facial quarterly. Kasi, um, honestly, medyo tamad ako mag skincare. So, ang ginagawa ko, nagpapa-facial ako quarterly. Linis lang and anything na kailangan ng skin ko at that time. Number 13, don't use expired makeup. I'm not sure if everyone knows this, pero usually sa back ng container ng makeup mo, doon nakalagay kung hanggang kailan yung expiration date. You don't want an expired makeup on your skin kasi it's like eating spoiled food. You don't want that. Number 14, brush your tongue as well. So, Every time you brush your teeth, huwag mo kakalimutan na mag-brush ng tongue mo kasi you want to remove any bacteria or any germs na nasa mouth mo. Number 15, magpalinis ng ngipin once or twice a year. You'd want to know kung merong nabubulok na ng ngipin para maagapan agad. So kung may time ka, magpasit ka na ng appointment sa dentist mo. Number 16, avoid using too much heat to your hair. If kailangan mo mag-blow dry ng hair, i-air dry mo na lang kung hindi naman talaga kailangan. Too much heat can lead to damage. Number 17, aim for better skin than better makeup. I know na makeup is fun. Um, nag enjoy ako mag-experiment ng makeup. But na-realize ko na mas gusto kong i-prioritize yung better skin first so that when you apply makeup, mas maganda yung application ng makeup. I wanted to use yung makeup to enhance my assets rather than cover up yung mga skin blemishes. Aim for better skin first before better makeup. Number 18, use the ring finger for applying yung eye cream or concealer or anything you put sa under your eyes. The area around the eyes kasi is so delicate. So you have to use the finger with the lightest touch which is the ring finger. When you're choosing a foundation, choose a shade na it blends well to your skin. And yun nagiging invisible siya. I can't really recommend you anything. Um, so it's really a trial and error. Try to experiment with lots of different shades. So, pag naghahanap ka ng shade, dito mo siya i-apply and dun mo makikita kung bagay sa'yo. It's important to blend your makeup well, but it's especially important to blend it sa hairline mo. You don't want na may noticeable streaks na foundation sa hairline mo. So, huwag na huwag mong kakalimutan mag-blend sa area na yun. And if you're wearing a low-cut neckline na top, um, also put some foundation sa day collage mo. Just make sure lang na at the end of the day, you also remove yung makeup na yun. So, para hindi iba yung kulay ng face mo sa day collage mo. Number 22, when applying mascara, ang gawin mo is zigzag mo muna yung mascara to build the volume ng eyelashes mo. And then, is straighten mo siya. Number 23, do some oil pooling. So, based from my research, oil pooling is an ancient Indian practice wherein you swish yung oil around your mouth for maybe 5 to 10 minutes. So, parang mouthwash siya. But don't swallow it kasi mawawala yung yung purpose kung bakit ka nag-oil pooling. Isa-swish mo lang siya around your mouth and then after a few minutes, isa-spit it out. Then you will brush your teeth and your tongue and your gums like normal. Then rinse your mouth very well. Itong practice na to, this reduces harmful bacteria sa mouth mo and it gets rid of bad breath. It improves your overall dental hygiene. Um, maganda tong addition to your routine kasi mura lang naman siya. All you need is coconut oil or or olive oil for blackheads use tomato and sugar well at this point you could tell na mahilig ako gumamit ng mga ingredients sa kitchen 
for my beauty tips. Um, kasi bukod sa inexpensive siya, mas natural kasi yung ingredients. And I really wanted natural products to put on my skin as much as possible. So going back, there's a blackhead. Um, if you have blackhead or um, if dull yung skin mo or if you want to minimize your pores, use this trick. So para ka na rin nag-exfoliate. So just do this once a month. Hindi lang to para sa face, para pwede rin to para sa whole body mo. So... I'm planning on creating this video on how to do this, so abangan nyo yun. Number 25, when washing your face, ipat dry mo lang yung towel. You don't want to rub it in your face. Remember, delicate yung skin natin sa face natin. Number 26, give your face a little massage. I like to do it with VCO, so this helps with the blood circulation and Making, it makes your face look more youthful. Number 27, always clean your makeup brushes. Kasi pag gumamit ka ng dirty na makeup brushes, pwede magkaroon ng infection. Pwede kang gumamit ng hand soap for your makeup brushes or shampoo and do it in 7 to 10 days if madalas kang gumamit ng uh, makeup. Or mas maganda if meron kang spare na makeup brush set. Para sa mga times na hindi ka makapag-cleanest ng makeup. Number 28, have a separate towel for face and body. So, mas hygienic kasi when you have a designated towel for your face and your body. You don't want to transfer yung germs and dirt sa body mo onto your face. Number 29, use a silk pillowcase. This can benefit your skin and hair. The skin, mas konti kasi yung na-absorb ng no silk na pillowcases other than ibang fabrics. So, kung ano man yung nilagay mo na moisturizer or serums at night, most likely mag-stay pa rin sa face mo yun kaysa sa pillowcase mo. And also, you'll get fewer facial wrinkles and creases for producing mo. The hair naman, it reduces friction. Mas nag-glide yung hair mo sa pillowcase mo. Plus, mas luxurious yung feel kapag silk yung pillowcase mo rather than yung usual na cotton na pillowcase. So, if you want to indulge in your sleep, you may want to switch to silk pillowcases. Number 30, trim your hair once in a while. Kahit mas gusto ko na longer hair, if meron ka na nakikita ng split ends, it's time to... Yun. <laughs> We don't want any split ends. Number 31, do some yoga. So, paano nakakatulong yung yoga facially? Well, if you try doing and practicing yoga, well, you know that it increases your blood circulation, including the face. Um, so, for example, if you're doing inversion poses, like, for example, yung mga upside down na poses like yung downward facing dog, napupunta yung blood flow sa head mo and it gives you that good skin tone, that good rosy flow. So, ayun, that was actually my problem before kasi I look pale sometimes. I really like being upside down talaga. Number 32, always use lip balm overnight. Katulad ng skin natin na kailangan ng moisturizing, our lips also need moisturizer para mas kissable. Number 33 is low-key confidence. Um, for me, confidence is being kind to yourself, respecting yourself, and that's attractive for me. When you're confident, it's very evident. It shows. You have to love yourself. Um, I believe that loving yourself brings more confidence in yourself. So tell me kung alin yung sa mga ideas na to na shinyar ko ngayon ang gagawin mas sa mga susunod na araw. Please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more good habits to build, click mo tong video na to next. And I'll see you guys in the next video ko. Bye!